Yeah, yeah, it's a same, similar blue, but um, no, very, very excited to sort of get this opportunity at the Kangaroos and yeah, loved every second of my time at the Blues. Um, obviously got a family connection there. Uh, yeah, it was a very emotional sort of time to, to leave, but like I said, really uh, looking forward to the this next new area of my career and yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, probably the, the main reason was that um, I was always after a two year contract um, and then I've got indications that I thought Carlton were going to start rebuilding soon and obviously being at my age bracket it's probably not the best time to be there. North Melbourne and Kangaroos have given me an, an amazing opportunity here, trusted in me to sort of provide them with my services for the next two years and, and like I said I'm, I'm really looking forward to repaying them the favour. Yeah, obviously um, made a prelim final. Some really good, talented players, younger and older players. So, like I said, it's, it's the club's really looking in a good position, and um, I'm I'm looking forward to contributing for the uh, for the next two years. You really hit your straps in the last uh, five or six rounds. You feel like uh, in some respects, something gets pretty. Yeah, I'm really happy where I'm at uh, with my body, and really really wanting to show sort of the football community what I can do and and like I said I'm so wrapped that the kangaroos are giving me this opportunity for the next two years and yeah just just can't wait to sort of get into it. So when do you feel uh, you're actually leaving the Blues? I know there's a bit of talk um, especially your former coach now um, that he criticised your decision. Um, I think it was when you guys had a yeah. up at his house. So when did you get that feeling of leaving the club? Um, yeah not until Late last week, a um, couple of days uh, over the grand final weekend wasn't really when I made my mind up and then I went straight to them on Monday to organise a meeting to, to tell them that I was no longer going to play there. Our we were always very open with our communication with the club and like I said, it was such a hard decision for me to leave. Obviously, family connection, been there for 13 years. It's a long, long time on one club. So, yeah, it was, it was a decision that I didn't take lightly, but I feel now that I've made the right decision and, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to my next, my time here. Did you tell Mick that you were going to stay? Because he certainly thinks you did. Uh, I never made it any indication that I was, but like I said before, I was always really keen on getting two years. Um, but unfortunately, I would have loved to have probably played there my whole career, but it hasn't gone that way. Um, and now I'm really excited to, to start a new new chapter in my football life and like I said I sort of can't wait to get into it. Hey, did you hear Mick got that impression uh, No I did. Did you hear his no, comments earlier this week? Uh, no I didn't, no. Nah. Are you sort of saying you you're surprised you left the decision so long? I mean is that a little bit unfair? Um, you can leave decisions on players a long time ago? Well it was, a, like I said before, it was such a hard decision for me. Um, so many emotions going through the pros and cons of leaving, staying, um, but in the end I felt the best thing for me was to, to move on. Um, like I said, I loved every second of my time at Carlton. Great opportunity they gave me early days. Um, but yeah, now I'm really excited to start it again here and really looking forward to it. Um, no, no, none whatsoever. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, obviously, big brownie. Showed some really good form in some high-pressure games. Drew's a... Obviously, we know what Drew can do. He's played well and truly over 200 games. And then Wellesley and the list goes on in that forward line. I'm, I'm really excited. I love the way the, uh, the Roos sort of play their football. Um, and I, I really feel like I'm going to fit in nicely here. And, and like I said before, I'm, I just can't wait for it. So you spoke to Brad Scott. How does he uh, we haven't really spoken too much detail just as yet, but like they're, they've got a bit of a break now, so I'm sure I'll sit down with him and have some really good conversations with, with what he expects from me. Um, and yeah, he's, he's shown that he's really excited to have me on board, and like I said, I just can't wait. As Tom mentioned before, he finished the season really strongly. It was a bit of a turning point when he spent some time in the NFL last season. Um, I not really. I just felt my body was in a really good position, and I... I've always felt that I can play that footy consistently. Um, unfortunately, I've had issues that have 
been let me down with being able to do that. Um, so yeah, it was just good to sort of have an interrupted, uninterrupted year without injury. And um, yeah, like I said, probably maybe it did help, but I've I've known that I've always been able to play that footy. Jody, are you ready to go when pre-season starts? And I was wondering what what are you going to do in the, in the time? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all good. I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, I'll sit down with the fitness staff here, have a chat to them. Um, I know they've probably got a bit more of an extended break simply because they play in the prelim. So yeah, I'll probably come back a few weeks early, start training. Um, like I said, I'm. You need to earn the respect of all the players. Don't just walk in here expecting that they're all going to respect me. I have to earn that, and I'm um, such a proud club like this. It's going to be, I'm, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm really looking forward to it. Do you take a break? Do you, do you go away at all? Or you... uh, I went away a couple of weeks ago with my wife, but um, yeah, now I'm just going to try and yeah get my body right, chat to the fitness staff, and, and work out what's best for me. Yeah, I've always got along really well with Mick. Um, I've always found him a really good coach. Um, but like I said, we it just came down to contract. We couldn't get it done, and I've moved on. And, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to my time here now. What are you expecting from the Carlton fans? There's a lot of sort of rang up, and given your family history, they were just hoping yeah. you would stay and surprised that you, I guess, you left Carlton. What are you expecting when you play against them? Oh, I, I know there's a lot out there that are very probably disappointed, but... I've always loved the fans at Carlton. I've always, I'll always respect the way they sort of treated me. I've always been treated pretty well by them. Um, I've no doubt there'll be a little bit of hostility, but it probably it's an indication that shows that they probably cared that, that I was at Carlton. Um, but yeah, hopefully they can understand that this is the best move for me and my family. And, and yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting to know the Kangaroos fans. And uh, just, yeah, hopefully they'll be accepting as me as I am as them. Yeah. Do you feel like there was some unfulfilled promise? Yeah, 100%. I'm, I was feeling like these last three years was going to be the best I was playing body-wise body and fitness. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone that way, but with the fitness staff here, I'm really excited about what they can do. I know I think they've only had one hamstring injury this year alone, so they've got a real big emphasis on fitness. So that's another thing that I'm really looking forward to is working with this team to get the best out of myself to play my best footy. And there's been some speculation about performance clauses in your contract. Is the second year dependent on Dan Slade or performance? Um, I actually haven't gone into too much detail about that. So, um, yeah, obviously I, want, I just want to play my best footy and, and I want to be out there as, as often as I can. Um, all, that, all the money that, that takes care of itself, I never left for money. I was not one of those players that's, that was ever going to chase it. So I'm... I just want to perform my best for the club and, um, and hopefully take us a couple of steps further next year. Yeah, I had a couple of texts already, which is, uh, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm sure, um, yeah, a bit nervous getting to know everyone again, start, starting fresh. But, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited and, yeah, can't wait. Have you got any uh, previous relationships with anyone? Um, just uh, Gavin Brown, the... Uh, uh, defence coach, so he was at Blues for a couple of years, so, uh, but know a couple of boys just from the traps and stuff like that, so, but um, from an outsider looking in, it's always been a pretty good club in that respect, so, like I said, it's going to be a bit nervous at the start, like starting school again, but, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Um, a couple, but, but the Kangaroos have always probably shown the most interest. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was sort of... Um, I felt that I was going to fit best here as well. So that's... They probably were, but it wasn't anything serious. And, like I said, I'm super excited that I'm here now. And, uh, yeah, just can't wait for my next, next two. And hopefully I'll be on that years on. Cool. Thank you.